America's last foothold in Afghanistan is now guarded by the Taliban. You can see the Taliban are all over and they don't allow anyone. We've come to Kabul's airport to see the gauntlet people must pass through to fly out. You can hear gunshots every couple minutes. CNN, 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 CNN. CNN. Really? Quickly, we are accosted by an angry Taliban fighter. Can I ask you a question? Excuse me. She, he says first. Cover my face. Cover. Okay. Cover my face. What is this? What is that? He told me to cover my face, but he doesn't want to comment on that truncheon he's carrying. The fighter tells us these chaotic scenes are the fault of America. The cause of all this is America in Afghanistan. Look at these people, he says. America's really acting unfairly towards them. Why are they lying and telling them that they can go to America? Why don't they let them stay and help their country? Okay. Doesn't okay. want to talk to you. Okay. Doesn't want to talk to you. That's fine. All right. We keep walking to avoid confrontation. A man follows us, asking for advice. How we can enter the base? How you can enter the base? Yes. Because they are sending me email also. Do you have paperwork to enter? Yes. Show me the enter, no. But we have email and they call me. Was this an Italian company? Yeah, Italian company. Herat. Okay, let's. I don't want this guy to whip you. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. Others crowd around us to show their documents. Camp Phoenix. You work for yeah. Phoenix. It's my HR, HR letter. Yeah. You were a translator? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Can you see this? Oh, yes. Uh, what Camp we are doing. Yeah. So they're saying they all worked at American yeah. camps as translators for the Americans and they can't get into that airport. These Taliban fighters are a little upset with us. We decide to leave and head for our car. The fighter takes the safety off his AK-47 and pushes through the crowd. Stay behind him, stay behind him. You can see that some of these Taliban fighters, they're just popped up on adrenaline, or I don't know what. It's a very dicey situation. <laughs> Suddenly, two other Taliban charge towards us. You can see their rifle butt raised to strike producer Brent Swales. When the fighters are told we have permission to report, they lower their weapons and let us pass. Okay, now we're going. Get in the car. And you can imagine, Jake, I mean, this is us. We are a news crew. We are clearly Western. And still, we were exposed to all sorts of insanity. If you're an ordinary Afghan trying to get past those Taliban guards and trying to get in to the airport, I mean, I just, I, I don't see how you're able to do it. I don't see how you're able to really get in unless you have some kind of a contact or a connection or you're able to arrange something somehow. But as I said, the infrastructure simply isn't in place to even begin to do that. So as a result, you have all these poor people sitting outside the airport for days on end now. And it's their last hope. But frankly, Jake, there's no real hope.